There have been many games which had featured superheroes, ranging from Marvel's Spider-Man to DC's Superman, or to Justice League to the Fantastic Four. The games are usually awful, and only a few games are gems. Rocksteady's Batman Arkham series are those gems. Arkham Asylum is the first game of the series, and as the title implies, it takes place in the titular Asylum. The backstory of the game can be found in the comic prequel, The Road to Arkham, which at this time you can only find in someone else's comic book collection, in a flea market, or in an online gallery. For those who haven't read it, it's about a chain of crimes leading up to the events of Arkham Asylum. The story of the game continued on from where Road to Arkham left off with Batman escorting Joker into the asylum, only for Joker and his goons to take it over. Batman, like usual, had to stop him, and a few familiar faces from his rogue gallery, like Bane, the Scarecrow, and Poison Ivy, and also to find out answers for questions asked before the incident. The gameplay of Arkham Asylum is divided into combat, predator, and exploration. The combat system is different from most games as you can chain not only attacks but also counters and any useful tools Batman can use in combat. The attack and countering animation can change depending on the general direction of the next target, whether or not the thug is carrying a weapon or using a special takedown move. Later on in the game you fight against looped up thugs which requires you to use a cape in your combos to stun them and use them to attack other thugs in order to make things easier for you. Predator is a stealthy approach when dealing with a room full of gun wielding thugs, allowing you to use a wide variety of takedowns and use the environment to your advantage. During the Predator segment, you have to figure out how to take down the thugs without being detected and taking too much damage. The takedowns you can use depends on where you're hiding from. It may be from the gargoyle statues in the room, the ledge of walkways, or even the grate on the floor. If you wanted to misdirect the thugs, you can use Batman's gadgets to either distract or stun them for a moment so you can perform a takedown on them. Exploration in Arkham Asylum is similar to most Metrovania type games, since you can backtrack to most areas of Arkham, especially if you are going to complete challenges set by the Riddler, who is not in the road to Arkham, in case of your wondering. The game allows you to use a special detective mode which allows you to see special markings set by Riddler, how many thugs there are in the next room, whether or not if they have guns, and see if there's anything you can collect or destroy in order to solve some of the challenges. As this is the first game in the series, it introduces you to an excellent combat system, how to use stealth to take down gun wielding thugs, special boss fights, and many items and easter eggs to search for. For those looking for a fun Batman experience or getting into the series, I highly recommend that you get this game before getting into the next game. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four.